All right, well, for today's video, I didn't have a chance to get anything really spectacularly exciting filmed. So you're gonna look at some footage of working on another Fiat piece that I actually ended up putting on here, but you'll see how that turns out right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Rossi Oliver Man, and today you're gonna to see some footage from where I worked on the horn, the original style horn. I took it apart. It was made altogether different inside than I would have guessed. So take a look at this. I don't know if you'll find it valuable or not, but here it is. Well, on this episode of Ross Doesn't Know What He's Doing, we have the original Fiat horn that we salvaged and a klaxon style horn like these is basically just a metal thin metal disc that vibrates up and down when you engage it and that's what makes the sound so i took this fella apart and i think it'll probably work again if i just clean it up a little bit here's the little piston that's supposed to move in and out of there and it's kind of uh yeah, it's kind of dirty like. I'm not really sure how that works other than I guess as it pulls it down, it's gonna break the points apart. It's got like a set of points here. I just clean those and I guess that's what happens. It pulls down in there and uh, yeah, I got no idea what I'm doing, but I usually don't. So you can't see off camera. I'm, wire wheeling this little plunger thing okay well you know what more could a guy do probably get some type of electrical cleaner or something that would be appropriate but i'm not going to do that because i don't have any so i'm just going to scratch around until i end up ruining something i don't know that looks like paper there Yep. <sighs> All right. Well, this go. Well, we know nothing. This little fibery washer was on here, and that was on there, and this is on there, and then this big one was there. There were three of these. There was this piece. There was these. I guess I could put this tight before I... I wouldn't have had to take that apart. I didn't know that when I did it. It was stuck to that gasket. So I couldn't. My small brain did not know that that wasn't a thing. Okay, so it was like this. And like I said, I don't have everything, so I can't... It would have been like, would have been like that, and who knows, you know. I do know that it's probably better to just go ahead and slap her together all the way to try it because this thing will go wild when you when you energize it that disc will be flippity flapping in there and it's got to be tight against this outer ring in order for it to even do its thing so we got to try it put it all the way back together is what i'm saying 
And if that works, we should probably seal it up better, but we don't do things the right way. Wow, how is these? Oh. That was on there like that. I'm learning things about Fiat's. I've been done though. I'm hoping this works because this is going to be heritage tractor material right here. That way it's as original as it can be. The green one can be the hot rod. Alright. Let's go try it. If there's anything I know, it's just do things. I don't think. That's not a very good view, but you'll definitely hear it if it works. Aww. Wah, wah. Wonder if it's not getting a good enough ground. Or this could be bad too. My jumper could be bad. Does this go like this? Man. I, I thought I had something. I'm not ready to throw in the towel yet as far as knowing what I'm doing. Maybe if I reverse the... Hmm. Shoot, I don't have no beepity beep. It's a no go beep. And that to make a mama sad. Poor feller. Hmm. Well, we will investigate that another day again. Maybe take it apart and see about, you know, what I'm saying. And maybe clean it up more better and do some electrical testing of some kind. And if that doesn't work, we may just see if a friend can fix it. All right, I took it apart again and cleaned those points, and that was the problem. And I, I tried it with the cover off. You know, it won't make the beep sound then, but it, man, it's a wild and woolly character. So you're going to hear the inaugural toot, I think. Is it going to go? Why isn't it going now? Yeah, it worked when it was apart. Why doesn't it work when it's together? It's gonna do something crazy and... Man! It better work. I just had it going. Well... What a bunch of baloney. I had it working. Oh, It won't do it for the camera. That's nuts. Let's put you down. If there's anything safe, it's working on top of an explosive battery, you know? Now come on, Horn. You just worked. I witnessed it. I saw it happening. I did this and it... There it kind of... No. Well... What's happening? That's not very loud. Uh-oh, I might have broke it. Surely my battery's not too low, is it? That sounds like a dying unicorn. 
Okay. Let's go try it with the pickup battery just to be sure. Or maybe something else that's sitting around here that has a battery that's easier to get to. Like this. We're not going to take the grill off now. Oh, but we do need to do this now to make her go. We'll just switch it back to the starter, see? So if I do this to this, and do this, different. So, as you can see, it uh, does in fact go beep, but not quite on its own yet. So, I'm probably going to have to take it apart again. I was going to show it to you. It's inside of here, but maybe not. I don't know if I showed that on the video or not, but it's happily tucked away in its home spot there. And I did end up uh, changing that air, or not air, the... Uh, power steering bracket off of the other tractor so that it's all connected again so i got that done i got it all buttoned up here as far as thermostat housing uh i left this loose i'm probably going to try to like overflow the radiator out of there or something just in case there's trash that it can go uh what else yeah everything's coming together and that is going to lead us into our next project, which you will see in another video. And that is going to be swapping injection pumps. Because I decided we might as well put one on that we know has run in the last year instead of fooling with this. And you'll see when, when we do that video that the fuel that came out of that is pretty nasty. So anyway, that's where we are. As always, if you enjoy the videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see or what you don't like to see. Tell me you don't like me. That's fine. Anything you say helps the channel. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.